Hi there, welcome back to my channel. Today I am excited for a collaboration video. I'm collaborating with a whole bunch of yard sale haulers, my favorite yard sale haulers, and we are going to show you guys our favorite finds that we found this summer and how we are using them or decorating with them or whatever in our home. So I am going to leave a playlist below of everybody participating. Like I said, these are some of my favorites. So yeah, let's just hop right in. I'm gonna share with you five favorites and one honorable mention just because because it's not a uh, home decor or home item, but it is something that we have really been loving. I'm going to take you around my house and show you all my finds. So here is item number one that I'm sharing with you. It's this black shelf, sort of cubby shelf, and uh, we have it on the mantle in the playroom. I'm gonna show you guys a tour in the near future of the playroom, so I'm not gonna share too much of this room, but I will show you this shelf here. So it started off bright yellow, and although it was very cute bright yellow, I decided to give it a coat of black paint, as I usually do with things in this house, it seems. This actually cost me only $2 and a little bit of spray paint, so I really love it because it is able to house all my little trinkets and stuff that I think could belong in a playroom, but that I don't really like the kids to play with. So anyway, that is find number one on the mantle in the playroom. Find number two is also in the playroom, so it is this mirror here, which you guys, I think I did film it in a haul, so this is it here, it's this old, old mirror. It only also cost me two dollars, and I just love that it's here because this playroom acts as a guest room as well, so I just think it looks perfect right here up on the wall. Find number three is in the downstairs washroom, and it is this shelf right here. It started off red and it cost me a dollar, I'm pretty sure, or maybe it was two. But anyway, we needed some storage in our bathroom and so I found this and I thought it would be perfect. So we just hung it right above the toilet and it just houses toilet paper as well as a little cleaning bottle. So that is find number three. Okay, so here is my fourth find. I never shared it here on YouTube, but I did share it on Instagram. And it is this bracket here. I picked this up at a yard sale for $5. It was attached to a piece of sort of falling apart wood. But uh, I've hung it beside my bed here and I just hung a light over it and I've turned it into a little bedside lamp because there isn't much space here as you can tell between my bed and where the dresser is. So there's not you know, enough room for a table. So this is the perfect solution for a bedside lamp. And I was debated spray painting this, um, but I just really loved the rust and stuff on it. I may like, I may seal it or something, but uh, in the future, but I think it looks really nice as is. And I like that I have like a little Edison bulb here. Oh, the lighting's kind of weird. But uh, anyway, I really like that. It gives off a perfect little glow at nighttime where you don't want it to be too bright of a light. So anyway, that is my find number four. Then the final piece is actually, it was a couple pieces and they are these little tins that I found at a garage sale. They were a dollar for a big bag of them. There were a couple more plus some actually cookie cutters and I just fashioned them onto this using hot glue and it's just a little piece of artwork. So it's a embroidery hoop that I had hanging on my wall for a while with absolutely nothing on it. And then when I found these, I thought they would be cute for a little wreath. So I just added some full greenery in there because green is my favorite color. And uh, yeah, so that is the little piece of artwork that I made with my tins. The tins said made in Sweden on the bottom. I don't know if they were uh, vintage or what, but anyway, I made for a fun little DIY project, so that's that. Okay, honorable mention time. This book Miriam is in love with, and I think it's super cute too. It's called Miss Lena's Ballerinas, and it's just honestly, I don't know why I love it so much, but I just think it's super cute. It's got great rhymes, it's got great illustrations, it's got a cute little story, works on numbers and stuff. And uh, I don't know, I really, really love it. So if you have a child who you think would love this book, uh, I think it's perfect. Miriam is three years old and she loves it. So there you have it. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I know that I have had people say uh, that they love my hauls, but they also love to see how I use the things that I haul in my house. So 
that is what I thought this video would do for you guys. So if you guys enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to check out the playlist below of everybody else participating in this collaboration so you can see more yard sale finds. And if you aren't subscribed to my channel, you know the drill. Please subscribe so you don't miss a video in the future. And we will see you guys in the next one. Bye.